हेलो दिस इज चिराग एंड वेलकम टू वेनी डॉट इवेंट्स वेनी डॉट इवेंट्स एक ऐसी वेबसाइट है जो वेडिंग और कॉन्फ्रेंसेस के लिए आपको परफेक्ट वेन्यू फिल्टर करके देती है पैन एंड फिल्टर्स के थ्रू आप देख सकते हैं हमारे वेन्यूज के हॉल साइड सीटिंग स्टाइल सीटिंग कैपेसिटी विद इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स विदाउट एनी ह्यूमन इंट्रैक्शन सो बने रही है हमारे साथ इस वीडियो को लाइक कर लीजिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए और बेल आइकन दबा दीजिए ताकि आप हमारी वीडियोज कभी ना मिस कर सके Good morning. I have the distinct pleasure of uh, being in conversation with Mr. Sudhir Patel of uh, Vena World. The day today is the 14th of September, and we are at uh, RDTM, the Rajasthan Domestic uh, Travel Mart, in uh, this fine city of Jaipur. Thank you, Mr. Patel, for agreeing to have this conversation with us and to uh, uh, for your time uh, this uh, morning. We are going live on uh, Venue dot Event. So, if I understand correctly, your uh, company is just shy of a thousand crores. I think you clocked uh, in the neighborhood of 940 crores odd. Uh, is Mrs. Patel still involved in the business? Yeah, she is a key person. She's we, a key person. So she's the wind beneath we, everyone's yeah. wings. Is that and right? That's the reason her name is there. Vina Patel. Exactly. Vina Patel is there. So how many offices do you have across the country now? What is your footprint? We, we got our uh, 26 offices. Mm -hmm. We got uh, almost 150 plus preferred sales partners selling exclusive product of Vina Patel Group Tours. Okay. In the market, and then we have representative in various other countries. They book from there for your inbound business. Is that right? Inbound as well as outbound. Outbound. All right. And uh, what would you say uh, your business mix is? Uh, very broad percentages. Uh, where is your eighty twenty, for example? Our core business is group tours, and mm -hmm. in group tours we have different segments like only women special, senior citizens, family, youngsters. honeymoon couples and uh, couple tours various sectors and we do tours uh, connected tours to in india as well as abroad that okay. is basically for indians and that being a core business at this moment is the uh, 8020 is um, around 80 plus in the group tours okay then we have individual fit uh, customized holidays then we have mice mm -hmm. we do that and then we are also forex Excellent. So now that you've uh, brought up the topic of mice, uh, tell me, sir, what is your outlook uh, for over the next five years? We're in 24 right now, and uh, you know we've got uh, six years before the turn of the decade. Uh, where do you envisage uh, the Indian customer to go? Do you think uh, the mice dollars are going to stay in India, or do you think the mice dollars are going to go outside the country? Or do you think there is going to be a balance of some sort? Mice is very interesting. I want just uh, before answering your question, uh, Vina World, we were very lucky mm -hmm. when we started in uh, uh, April 2013. When we were in the process of formation of company, mm -hmm. uh, we have good friend, Mr. Mahesh Mandrekar. You must be knowing. Right. Yes. I do. He has a, such a trust on us. Then we got a Mikta Award ceremony overseas. Mm -hmm. He confirmed with us. Wow. And our journey started first my group of all senior artists in Marathi industry. Mm -hmm. They were around 350 plus, and we did that group for them. And since then, uh, there is a tremendous growth in the mice. Over the years, we have now mice department mm -hmm. and handling various group. Mice initially stage, uh, I think pre-COVID, everybody su suffered on mice because uh, most of the corporate used to give ask for more and more credit, That's right. and payment used to be delayed. But at Vinabad, we don't give much credit. But very happy to say that we have more than 30 plus corporates coming to us regularly, and they are so sat ha happy and satisfied that they come again and, and again. I look for mice industry growing more. If you remember, in our industry during COVID, everybody says mice industry will go down. That's right. And nobody expected that mice will bounce back before leisure. Revenge travel. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was uh, surprising, and that's a really boost to the mice industry, and hoteliers also, and destination also, and. Uh, this still is continuing, and I'm very really happy that my uh, corporates are looking for different destinations, mm -hmm. different places, and different resorts. Mm -hmm. They don't go same resort again. That's right. And that's uh, I think uh, is a very key to the success of mice. One more point is that mice. Uh, most of the corporate are comfortable to go overseas than the domestic. Oh, why is that? Because domestic, we have connectivity is a major issue for the mm -hmm. different cities. 
last and, mile yeah and most of the corporate expect direct flight to the destinations and that is a ma major key hurdle for domestic destinations and uh, if you see that overseas people are happy to transit at different places mm. so they are happy that they are going for uh, foreign countries and they don't mind that mm. My uh, right present is doing very great where the place uh, uh, visa facility is it's easy, easy and yes. that is the way corporate select the destination. So the way I understand uh, MICE uh, right now, uh, corporates when they're doing employee incentives, they usually prefer a short haul destination, something which is uh, in a radius of six hours flying time. And uh, when it comes to their vendor partners or when it comes to their customers, that is when they're exploring longer itineraries, further distances. Uh, am I right when I say that? Absolutely. I mean, in fact, I remember we did more than three or four groups for the um, corporate, mm -hmm. where the condition was there that Monday before nine o'clock, their employees should reach to the office, and that was the condition. When we did it in India and abroad, they should be back on Sunday, mm -hmm. so that Monday need, should not be skipped. That's right. But this is uh, for their employees. But then uh, if you see their dealers, trade, their partners and all that, they are very open mm -hmm. and they take uh, various other destinations. And you rightly said, where the direct connectivity is there, three hours to five hours, so they prefer the destination. Then that would make uh, destinations like uh, perhaps uh, uh, <coughs> Dubai in the Middle East or uh, you know Sri Lanka or maybe uh, other, si other countries in the Southeast Asia, for example, Malaysia, Singapore or Thailand or even Vietnam is very hot and then if you go further up north from India then uh, I'm given to understand that Baku and Almaty are very popular these days. Is that right? Is that where you're seeing a lot of traction? You, you are absolutely right. Their uh, very important is the uh, national tourism boards of the various countries. Mm. They understood this um, potential of Indian market and I think they are pitching for mice more effectively. They are giving some incentives also which coming to corporates indirectly through local DMCs and all that mm -hmm. and um, that's uh, I think um, they are doing that and uh, th there is a successful things are happening. So in the long haul destinations where do you see uh, traction? Which long haul destinations do you think uh, we are did, prime? We did MICE to the Euro, mm -hmm. uh, particularly France, Switzerland okay. and uh, even to the, uh, we did a group to, uh, to Netherlands also. Okay. So that's all there. What about Australia and South Africa? Are those on your radar at all? Australia mice is mainly happening on the sports activity. Okay. If you see this uh, cr cricket. Right. And uh, I you are also handling mice activities, all that. So cricket is, uh, we all uh, Indians are crazy. And Australia definitely looking for the cricket as a mice um, corp um, with the corporates. And they try to do that. But uh, again, Australia is a connectivity and inventory issue mm -hmm. and cost effectiveness, which is a very important one. You know, you are it very proactive and they wanted MICE activities to be in Australia more and more. And they did one big group into Australia. Means uh -huh. when we talk about that, but then one or two big corporates mm -hmm. and that also in thousands that happened there for by other companies. You know, you made a very interesting point. Uh, you brought sports into this conversation. And uh, you brought uh, the love of sports of the Indian people into this conversation. Uh, what are the experiences uh, that corporates are now seeking when uh, they want to engage their employees? Sports is one. What other things are on their bucket list? Things that they would like their uh, colleagues to experience? Particularly corporates are looking for experiences. Mm -hmm. Not traditionally leisure, sightseeing and all that. Mm -hmm. So there are two ways if I see that. One is uh, their employee side which is uh, team building activities that's right and experiential uh, and give them something different mm -hmm. and second side is uh, uh, their partners they are being partners travel with the families they want to go traditionally leisure one uh -huh. and that is the two differentiation we see in this mice interesting let me get your thoughts sir on uh, the inbound business into this country uh, for a second. I know that uh, you are uh, you know, mainly in the outbound space, but uh, do you have any visibility on uh, how is it uh, that India as a destination uh, can attract international conventions into the country? Do you think there are any hurdles? Uh, I know our immediate competition in our region is uh, Singapore and Dubai with the kind of facilities that they have and the incentives that they offer. But if my India, uh, 
uh, Prime Minister Modi announced uh, Meet in India and if we wanted to kind of up our game as a country, uh, what are your top three uh, advice and uh, what are the hurdles that you see? I see tremendous potential for mice or even inbound tourism to the India because this is the first time in the history that Prime Minister speak about tourism. Right. Though his focus is for Indians to India first and then second from the outside, mm -hmm. Indians to uh, inviting five different uh, citizens to India. That itself is a very good move. This is one. Second thing is that I think aviation industry is opening up. Right. And aviation industry opening up, so we have a lot of uh, flights connectivity is improving. As I see the synergy between this uh, outbound tour operator uh, to tours as well as inbound, mm -hmm. because outbound, if I say more than 50 or 60 or 70 uh, national tourism board present in India and from trying to uh, uh, attack our tourists to their country, when this capacity is building up. So we have a lot of opportunity to fill up the flights which are coming back to Mumbai right. or India. And that is also very, very important. Second thing is that uh, I see a lot of change now as I travel all over the world very often. There is a lot of respect for Indians now. Mm -hmm. early, early days there was some negligence and people used to neglect us. And today with respect they receive us. And this change is also happening. What is problem now for uh, is very important is the cost and other countries are competing with us on the cost right. and if that cost is stabilized because we saw that infrastructure is building up, lot of hotel, hotels are coming up, number of rooms increasing, this inventory will definitely stabilize the cost on the room tariff side and if that works I think we have a lot of potential. So yes, I mean there are, I mean Yashobhumi is a brand new convention centre we have, it's beautiful. A lot of hotels have very large convention spaces. As a country we are primed for the business. But what I hear you saying, uh, are you perhaps indicating towards, uh, you know, uh, the high taxes that we have uh, in the country? 18% uh, GST versus, you know, 5 or 6 or 7% VAT in other countries. Do you think that is a challenge? Do you think that is one of the hindrances? You must have heard, gone through the news recently that IATA chief mentioned that we have uh, highest taxes for the aviation industry. That's right. And I think that is another reason of the taxes that from. GST and other things are definitely we can incentivize for the inbound. Definitely will help us. But then what is important is, uh, uh, very important is the cost of hotels and their rates and all that. Uh, that we have to see how we can reduce on that front. Interesting, interesting. Uh, no, a very valid point. I, I think uh, in our business and at our company as well, we face similar challenges when we are uh, talking to clients who are looking at, uh, you know, hosting conferences uh, in India. We see a little bit of traction. Uh, the sweet spot that we see is about uh, 250, 300 people. Exhibitions obviously yes does well because uh, you know India is a booming okay. economy and uh, there are all the countries would like to do business with India. So we see a lot of traction in exhibitions. But uh, yes, you're absolutely right when you say that uh, the country is primed. Perhaps do you think uh, you know now that Meet in India has been announced, do you think that we need a hard marketing effort, a strong marketing effort to make the campaign as big as we've been able to make Incredible India? I think marketing is very important definitely is that but at the same time various companies need to see that how we can do the marketing outside also. Every time we depend on the government only mm -hmm. which is, is not true and That's not right. good also. And we have to see that join associations as well as different part or different places going together on various occasions and present themselves. And there is a lot of potential. The other day, you were also at a um, uh, geo convention attending ITP and uh, you right. had a session, we had a session. We talk about, talk about medical tourism, wellness uh, tourism and all that. If I see that study that all that, we have tremendous potential. Yoga is actually yoga yes. and yoga with yoga is well known all over the world. That's right. We are the country which already generated and all that. We have different facilities are there. Infrastructure facilities done there and available there. Accessibility, availability and affordability which is possible because all these wellness spas are away from the metros. Mm -hmm. And that is I think key to us uh, again to try to promote that. 
but we need to go again and again and market that along with the india tourism mm -hmm. and even health tourism also health government department also should join hand i think what is missing is a 360 degree view of the, any promotion right jointly promoting together that's right i think uh, you know for indian uh, inbound uh, travel operators i don't think uh, that they participate enough in uh, international exhibitions that uh, you know the ministry of tourism is a part of when they're running the incredible india campaign i don't think that a lot of agencies such as ourselves who are keen to get the inbound business i don't think we are participating as much in those exhibitions uh, sometimes it may be an issue of the price tag uh, sometimes it may be an issue of the visibility that one has or uh, you know the bandwidth that one has to be able to attract that kind of business as well uh, now i think that's a very interesting point that we as a as an industry vertical need to have a symbiotic relationship we need to have that synergy with uh, the ministry of tourism the various state boards uh, the convention centers and if you're going to be able to pitch for an international piece of business we need to go together as one unit one I team i just want to add that uh, what rtdm is doing this right itself is a good example for all of us mm -hmm. you said the hoteliers tour operator travel agencies local are coming together right inviting people together they are coming they came to mumbai they went to other cities also mm -hmm. and that interaction itself helping us that's right in promotion of that that's right so let's take this conversation into a different direction now uh, india is a young country and uh, the ma majority of the workforce is is fairly young and uh, the travel industry is seeing a lot of interest from the younger generations and uh, i see colleges and programs uh, that are promoting uh, you know travel and tourism uh, uh, programs or workshops filled with uh, aspirants what in your opinion is uh, a good mix of uh, you know programs that an individual should be uh, uh, looking at when he decides to join the travel and tourism industry do you think he should be more focused on mice do you should think he should be focused on fit and leisure uh, where do you think uh, his uh, focus his or focus should be i think um, we have to uh, blame our industry because our industry is uh, organized and unorganized right when i look for travel agency or even somebody look for my company everybody feels that it is 10 by 10 shop which is not mm -hmm. so when we go to this uh, cat, uh, tendering service for 1 lakh tourists thousand people work with us i think each and every one should see the bigger picture mm -hmm. and that is what is important second thing is travel agency uh, don't look at the sm smaller one because they are contained with that and sometimes whether to not to pay gst they don't cross certain limit sure and all that i think uh, time has come now everybody has to see that how income tax is paid gst is paid and growth should not be stopped and trust is very important because in our industry people don't trust uh, just for information we recruit every year 100 plus student to, to us and mm -hmm. all of them are well equipped and well educated we have tour managers travel more than 50 to 90 countries in the at the age of 35 or 38 uh, and this is the tremendous scope you have now early days it was being this organized unorganized sector student has a mindset that this industry is not paying good salary mm -hmm. and if you see the organized sector where everybody is done there's a good salary is there right and then there's a lot of potential is that i take example of this industry not only to tourism insurance is there you individual uh, individual fit is there you mm -hmm. can be expert on that group tourism is there events are there mice are there birthday celebration are there lot of things each and activity on the life has a connected to tourism pilgrimage tourism which is a tremendous uh, what wellness spa when i talk about wellness spa and medical tourism i speak about reactive pro reactive reactive is is illness hone ke baad you try to appointment and all that right. proactive you mentioned about youngsters they are also aware that they are healthy they don't eat oily and these are the people who want to proactively stop their problems in near future and mm -hmm. this is a potential client for wellness spa mm -hmm. and that is also expanding and that tourism is 
three to four times bigger than our leisure tourism. Oh, is that right? So nobody is focusing on that. Medical tourism always we focus on doctors' capability and whether he'll serve or not and all that. So there is something that industry is also coming up. So these uh, people that you recruit every year from uh, various uh, uh, tourism colleges, uh, what level uh, of education do you see them come at? Uh, what I'm trying to ask you is, do you need to spend some time, uh, you know, finishing them, polishing them, training them? And if yes, uh, what are the things that your company does? We are associated with institute and under that institute, they have program. Okay. So they, uh, in that program, there is an internship. And normally the student come for two months, three months internship. Mm -hmm. As they study, inter do the internship with our company or they get to know the culture, their mindset change because mm -hmm. what they have thought about uh, 10 by 10 uh, travel agency, we have to work. But when you see that 400 people, 500 people stay working together and there is a harmony, uh, happily working. And then they come, they see the different departments are there because travel agency, if you see the only booking and then processing, that's right. all. But in the big travel companies, is a full process is there. And once they see that, they see that they are very happy. And then there is another role of tour managers. Mm -hmm. Chance of traveling worldwide, everywhere as per your potential, which I also enjoy right now. Right. Uh, and recently I've been to Greenland and Iceland with the group. Wow. So uh, to, today evening I'm going to Tunisia with the group. Very nice. So that's uh, what happening. And this industry is amazing. Once you enter, uh, it gives return. During COVID, many, many of friends told us that you need to diversify different places. I said, no way, tourism is in our blood. I yeah. love that. Fantastic. What is your advice, sir, to uh, new entrants, new entrepreneurs or people who would like to be self-employed, who are looking at uh, the travel industry to perhaps start a new business, be it FIT Leisure or MICE or whatever it is. What are your top three pieces of advice to new entrepreneurs? You need to have clarity of thoughts, transparency and honesty with your clients which is very, very important. Which will then make a make strong a reputation. Strong reputation on that. Right. And personal service and uh, in this industry, don't shy away by for giving glass of water to your guests. This is the Atiti Deva Bhava. That's right. Which is the uh, essence and backbone of tourism. This is enough for kissing a bag, if you feel bad, you must stop in tourism. Mr. Patil, uh, over the past few years, we've seen uh, a huge influx of uh, uh, people who are very keen to experience cruising. People have always been doing that uh, from a leisure perspective. But uh, recently I've uh, seen a trend where corporates are also interested in incentivizing their employees conducting their MICE programs on cruises. What kind of uh, traction have you seen? Cruise industry is growing definitely. And um, uh, Indian government is also encouraging cruise company to come to India also. Recently, if you notice, uh, la, uh, yesterday's March tourism, tourism announcing uh, uh, tourism policy, and the ma major trust was on t cruise tourism. Definitely, um, corporates are very happy because uh, one standard size of rooms, all activity at one place. Uh, there is no deviation mm -hmm. that uh, all members will go other than your uh, event. Right. So, oh, if I say that. From the corporate side, they are happy for the delegates who are coming on the cruise. They are always with them. A captive audience. Captive. And that is, I think, the very successful to them. Whatever the message they want to pass on to them, keep them busy, happy and all that. So, one, that is very successful. Now, these cruises are right from 1,500 to 3,000 tourists on the one cruise. Mm -hmm. But there is another which Vina World is promoting, which okay. is the cruises are ex uh, weekend expedition cruises. We did successfully this last year two Antarctica cruises. Oh. And again, this year uh, we are doing uh, uh, Antarctica cruises. I just came last week from Arctic cruise. Oh. All these cruises are the capacity of 100 and 115 travelers or guests on the cruise. And these are not the luxurious cruises of 2000 and 3000. Here the activities are less. Select crowd, 
personalized service you can talk to internationally international integration on the cruise mm -hmm. every day evening for the 115 people are talking to each other introducing and i think uh, that's also something different which we experience which i did we and me did a uh, uh, 12 days cruise to arctic from wow. uh, reykjavik from iceland mm -hmm. it was amazing with something dates is also growing and uh, along with that river cruises are also coming right. which is uh, new for indian uh, um, uh, tourists mm -hmm. though we have uh, on ganga uh, right. river and the sunarbans as well right tourism started so that's also a uh, future is there and uh, and now uh, when i talk about cruises and now youngsters luckily on this cruises we saw the um, captain uh, uh, second uh, co captain uh, 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 foreigner married to indian acha event manager staying in goa which is germany own uh, uh, citizen uh -huh. uh, main shape uh, of the cruise is from mumbai <laughs> so lot of opportunity is there for like uh, young students global integration global integration possible interesting great i see that the government of india and a lot of uh, private players as well are uh, curating railway rail experiences uh, they've always been popular with international tourists but uh, recently we've seen a surge in demand for uh, products such as palace on wheels as well uh, are you seeing uh, any demands from your clients for uh, you know experiences such as these these are slightly longish itineraries i i admit but what kind of uh, traction are you seeing i believe palace and vale is more popular to the uh, inbound tourists and they love that and there is definitely demand but post covid demand has gone down mm -hmm. but this de de demand will definitely coming up i uh, see the good inquiry level with them yesterday i made the palace and vale team here and mm -hmm. they were very happy and the response they are getting so i think good picture is there and good season is line up in near future so okay. do you think the price tag is a little high for the domestic tourist we always feel that being uh, from the indian perspective but if you see the international uh, uh, luxury trains i think the cost has at par with them that's right and, and at the same time they must be giving good offers to others also so i think they are aware about the international competition and um, but still a uh, good response so far uh, to the all these uh, luxury trains you think there is any possibility of mice on these kind of trains mice because meeting facilities are limited sometimes difficult because you can't do the numbers right. that numbers and uh, the only thing is you can do the 20 30 mm -hmm. limited delegates on that cruise uh, on the train mm -hmm. and that way you can do that mm. Okay. Again, you have to take help of the um, uh, some hotel for doing the meetings and all that. That's right. So that like, limitations are there. Thank you, sir, for Thank your you. Uh, time this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Thank uh, you. On uh, venue dot events. Thank you so much. Thank you.